Hi, I'm Shoestring Jane. and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things thrifty, frugal and money saving. I thought this time I would share our food shop and menu plan. Um, I haven't done this for a while actually, I've shared what I've bought but I haven't actually shown you what we're eating but I thought I'd do that this time. I decided this week to try Asda. Lots of people on my Facebook group and also my daughters have been telling me that the Just Essentials range in Asda is really worth trying. It's a really, really good price. So I thought, well, let's go see if I can get something as cheap as I would in Lidl or Aldi. Um, I have to say I was very, very impressed with it. I was impressed with the price and the apparent quality. I haven't tried most of it yet, but I will say I put the Lou rolls against the Nikki ones I normally buy from Home Bargains and they're much more solid and they seem to be bigger. They're not as cheap as the Nikki ones though. I mean I can get I think 36 for about 6.99 in Home Bargains and these were 198 for 6 I think so. They're not as cheap but you know if they last longer it might help. And I was in there I don't want to go from one shop to another. The price of petrol means it's prohibitive to go driving around looking for bargains. Plus, I really don't have the time at the moment. Um, I won't show you the house because you'll have seen it in previous videos. We're still just gradually packing up. As you can see, my picture's gone behind me. I'm packing up things like that. We still don't have a moving date. It's very frustrating. Our buyer's solicitors are very, very, very slow. Everybody else is ready to go. They are just now sending them, well, they promised to do it at the end of last week, their report with all of the answers to the queries and the draft contracts to them at the end of last week and they didn't. So it's, it's very frustrating, but all we can do is keep niggling and they are also chasing them because I think they're also a bit fed up and they want to get going as well. So um, we're hoping that all of a sudden it's gonna happen, but Justin's also panicking, thinking, what if, what if it all falls through? <laughs> We've packed up the house. Uh, if it falls through, well, it does, it does. I don't think it's going to have a good feeling about it, but we will see. Anyway, I'll show you how I got on at Asda. I do think it is worth trying out a different supermarket. Having shopped at Lidl and Aldi for a long time, um, and with just occasional shops elsewhere, I've always found them the cheapest, but I do think that they have pulled a blinder, really, Asda, with this Just Essentials range. They It does seem to be extremely good value, and the timing is pretty good. You could be a bit cynical and say that this is bringing them in more customer because when you get in there of course you do buy other things but I stuck to reduced items, bargains and the essentials range so I'll show you anyway without further ado here we go. So here is this week's big shop because if you watched last week's blog you'll know I did a really small shop and I only spent £18 um, although I did top up by about I think it was about eight or nine pounds on a bottle of wine and a few snacks so um i that was a bit that was unnecessary but you know you have to live you have to have fun and um, this week i thought i would try asda and try some of their just essentials range that everybody is going on about so i'll show you what i got from there and i'll show you the rest of my shop this is a big shop for us because as i say we didn't do a a very big shop at all the last few weeks and um, I'm stocking up as well for our store cupboard. So some of this is to eat over the next week, some of it for the, over the next month, and some of it is just to go in the stores because you need to have a bit of a stash, I think, of food at the moment. So first of all, I've got toilet paper, and I normally buy the Nikki toilet paper from Home Bargains, but I'd had such a busy day and I wasn't going over to Home Bargains at kind of five o'clock by the time I'd finished. So I bought two lots of these Just Essentials toilet tissue for one ninety three each. There are six in each. Thought I'd try this marmalade. I like marmalade. This looks like it's just a clear sort of marmalade without any bits at all in it. Um, and that was 33p. That's just ridiculously cheap, isn't it? You're only allowed to buy three of anything of the Just Essentials range, but I did buy some rice pudding. One to just have in the cupboard and two to put in my stores. Two lots of baked beans. Oh, sorry, that's 23p. Two lots of baked beans for 25 pence each, again, for the stores. Um, two lots of custard. Yeah, just two lots. Uh, one for the stores that will be one for just to have. And I bought this for the stores, stewed steak. I'm not really a one for this kind of thing, but I think that's worth having something like that in the stores. And it's 
£1.75. Another corned beef for the same reason, £1.85. And two lots of sardines. I really love sardines. We both eat sardines quite a lot. But 37p, that's not too bad, is it? They have gone up in recent times, I've noticed. They have freshed up as, as well in this range. And I bought these sweet potatoes, which I'll have to tell you how much they cost in a minute. There's one, two, four skinny sweet potatoes in there. They were 50 pence. Um, this is, again, this is like a blast from my past. When we were kids, we used to have like salmon paste and all sorts of paste sandwiches. Um, and I saw it in the range and I thought, well, you know, I could perhaps do something with that. So 29p, you can't really go wrong if you don't like it. This, I think, soft cheese, 80 pence for really quite a big tub is pretty good value. So I picked that up. As I say, they do fresh stuff. So we've got some plums and there are seven plums in there and they're 75p. They are in season, so I guess they're going to be reasonably cheap and blueberries only 89 pence each and okay it's only a small tub so i got two but i really like these on my porridge in the morning so i wanted to get some blueberries i find they really last at this time of year as well so for the stores and to just to have for the old dessert peaches yeah i got three lots of peach slices in the syrup for 34 pence two of those will go in my stores one just to have in the cupboard mandarins 49p so a bit more expensive for a smaller can i really like these and when we run out of fresh fruit i'll eat these so again maybe one for the cupboard one for the stores justin's not a big fan of these so that's all down for me and then they do these just essentials chicken which are quite cheap as it is but i managed to pick up some reduced so it should have been 194 for 1.1 kilogram and i got it for 124 so that will go in the freezer I managed to get this one reduced as well for the same price and a whole chicken should have been £3.43 and that was reduced for £2.20 and then I undid some of my savings by accidentally picking up a normal flipping chicken thighs for £3.10. I thought that was another non-reduced but I thought that was another smart price one so I was a bit annoyed with myself for doing that. Never mind, but you can see the check the difference in price, can't you? It's the same size bag, £3.10. That would have been £1.94 if it hadn't been reduced. So, yeah, silly woman. Never mind. Um, this is very, very cheap as well. Chicken breast fillets, £2.84. I needed that for a recipe that I'm going to make. Um, and this is a treat because, you know, it's not essential that you have salmon, is it? It's quite expensive. Um, but that was £3.80 for two pieces. So that's not cheap. I don't think that's especially cheap by little Aldi standards particularly either. And then the rest of the shopping. So for my stores, I got some skimmed milk powder. So even though I generally am lactose intolerant, I can I can tolerate some. So I'd like to have some milk in my stores if we can't get any for just making sauces or whatever. This was expensive, 2 99 for Hellman's, but I do like to try and get the glass jar. I've got so much plastic here. Um, so if I can avoid it and I could, then I will. There wasn't any Asda anyway, look, not even in plastic. We had this recently, somebody came for a party and they bought us a bottle of this and we really liked it, barefoot malbec i think it's the same one i think actually the one we had was australian so it might not be the same one this was 6.75 so again you know we don't go to the pub we hardly go out going out is a real treat for us so having a nice glass of wine in front of a film or just while reading a book or whatever in the evening is fine that's a that's a worthwhile treat when i see kenko Milicano, it's really the only coffee i like on sale for three pounds i'll always buy it sometimes i mean i saw this in iceland for five pounds something that size which is crazy you can always get it on sale i don't know who pays that price so if i, I we've got actually quite a lot i've got a big one of these in my stores but i know it's going to be something that's going to go up a lot i think coffee so i'm stocking up on coffee horlicks this is me i like a horlicks before bed three pounds 25 but that was cheaper than Ovaltine much cheaper when I look, looked at the um, the price per kilogram 
or the gram, price per gram, it's so much cheaper than Ovaltine. And I got a big one, which made it cheaper still. So although that's £3.25, that'll last really a long time. Again, it's not something that Justin bothers with. For the stores, two cans of Evap milk, um, 60 pence each. Turmeric, I'm trying to eat a lot more turmeric now because I've got quite bad arthritis and it's anti-inflammatory. And the turmeric was £1.95. Uh, the garlic, didn't want to write on that, was 39p. Um, and the paracetamol was 39p. I do need to take painkillers for my arthritis now. I am going to try and do an anti-inflammatory diet. Um, so I'm just, I've am just i got a couple of books from the library on such subjects so I can have a look into it. I'm trying not to eat a lot of processed stuff. I know I've bought custard and rice pudding. But, you know, most of it is pretty good, really. The broccoli, head of broccoli was 65 pence. Some bistro salad, I want to eat that over the next few days. That was 85 pence. And some spinach, again, I'm going to do a chicken recipe and I'm going to put some spinach in that. That was 60, no, it was a pound, sorry. <laughs> My writing's terrible. That is actually a pound. Um, a little treat because you need a treat from time to time. I actually didn't realise these were the big bars. I thought they were the, just the two bar, two stick bars. So we and Justin can share one of those of an evening if we want a bit of chocolate. That was 125 for four. But it is worth it, isn't it? Because you go in, if you go into the shop, you'll probably just buy one bar and it'll cost you 80 pence. So it's worth kind of planning ahead. And then I bought six lots of the lactose-free milk because we do seem to be going through it at, I don't know, a fair rate of not. So hopefully that'll last us for a week and a half or um, maybe even two weeks. We'll see. Um, £1.20 is the same as Aldi and Lidl. On. maybe they're, st they're still on 115 but yeah not much more expensive nowadays so altogether you can see i spent 71 pounds 37 i got a penny off for some reason as the rewards a penny off woohoo um it's the first time i'd used my as rewards card and i finally got around to downloading the app so um that i don't know what that's going to be like what other people say it's good the rewards are really quite good um, so yeah, that was £71.37, quite a lot more than I spent last week, but it will last us. I mean, some of this will be lasting months and months and months. Some of it will be lasting the next two weeks. Some of it, the fresh stuff will all go this week. So here is uh, this week's meal plan. I haven't give, shown you my meal plan for ages. So, oh, I spelled omelette wrong. I spelled omelette wrong. What am I like? Anyway, <laughs> um, I've already had Mondays because it's Tuesday as I film this, so... Last night I had omelette and salad. Tonight I'm making turmeric, chicken and rice and having some of the spinach with that. Uh, tomorrow we will have the salmon that I got, the Smart Price salmon, with baked potatoes because I have a bag of potatoes that I need to use really large ones. They weren't actually sold as baking potatoes, but they're really big, so they're good for that. With some salad. Um, Thursday it's just me, so I'm going to make sure there's enough turmeric chicken for me to have that again on Thursday that will still be all right a couple of days later as long as it's thoroughly heated through. Uh, Friday I'm going to have smoked we're going to have smoked mackerel I got a whole load of smoked mackerel um, yellow stickered in Lidl last week and I've put them in the freezer so I'm trying to eat a lot more oily fish um, and not much red meat as you can see from the menu. Um, because I'm just doing a little bit of reading around arthritis and just making a start on kind of changing my diet to perhaps improve that situation. So smoked mackerel is good for that. I'm going to make a grated carrot salad. I don't think we'll have any salad leaves left, but if we do, I'll add those. Um, and I think I'll just do some maybe air fried potatoes to go with that for a change anyway. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to make Chicken with the rest of the chicken breast. Hopefully there will be some left. Chicken and sweet potato using my Smart Price. I'm not called that anymore. Essentials um, sweet potatoes. Make a curry with that. I've got a can of coconut milk in the cupboard. So I'll use that as well with some rice. Um, and then I got that whole chicken, didn't I? It's gone in the freezer, but I will roast that um, and have it with roast potatoes and vegetables on Sunday. And that will form the basis for some of the meals next week as well so we are eating a lot of chicken but that's okay I quite like chicken and a lot of fish as well but as I say I'm trying to eat less red meat so hopefully that will be all quite a bit more healthy I found a nice recipe for an apple flapjack 
in the Salvation Army cookbook. I'll try to remember to link it below. Um, it looks quite good and we've got a couple of apples off our tree in the garden. Our, we've got an apple tree, it's been there for several years, it literally gives us about three apples a year. It's not very good. So I'm going to use a couple of those anyway in the flapjacks. And then we've got the rice pudding that I bought, the Essentials rice pud, which if we want another dessert another day, we can have that with some jam. So we don't have a dessert every day, just sometimes. So just a couple of desserts down there. And the meal plan lives on the fridge, which is a really good place because it means I see it all the time. I can see what we need to get out of the freezer or whatever. And um, the pens are also magnetic. I think this is a, a really good little thing. I'm glad I invested in this last year. So as I said in when I was showing you my meal plan, I am trying to just look at diet in terms of arthritis. I did think I had rheumatoid arthritis and I was being tested for that. And luckily that has come back negative because I was concerned because um, I have one autoimmune disease and rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease and I did think oh gosh am I going the same way with that so um but no it's just normal arthritis as you can see I've got like lots of this kind of thing going on in my fingers um that kind of arthritis but it is just osteoarthritis I say just a lot of us have it when we hit a certain age I have a lot of pain in my thumbs my hands my wrists my feet my ankles <laughs> um I yoga a lot but you know, there's only so much yoga you can do on your hands and feet. That does make a lot of difference. So I thought now I need to perhaps look at my diet. I keep reading that dairy is something you should give up. And oh, I just struggle. I would struggle so much with dairy. But I might have to look at that. If it makes me feel better, stops me waking up with painful joints, then it, it's it got to be worth considering, hasn't it? So anyway, have you tried the Asda range, the, the new cheap range? What do you think of it? Do you prefer little Aldi or do you shop elsewhere? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to give me a like and do consider subscribing. I do appreciate those that do subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye for now.